Namaste and welcome everyone. It's me Priyanka Parazili, the student of grade 9 from Golden Sangawa English Secondary School. In this video, I am going to show you my presentation about algorithm and flowchart. First of all, I would like to introduce what is algorithm and flowchart. Algorithm is the step-by-step -step written program in English language where flowchart is a pictorial representation to solve the program. In this video, I will explain you some program related to algorithm and flowchart. In the first program, we can see write a program to find greatest number among two numbers. Algorithm step 1 start and step 2 read two numbers and store as A, B. In the place of read, we can write except also. In step 3, we have to compare A and B. In step 4, if A is greater than B, then display A, otherwise display B as the greatest number. In step 5, we have to stop the program. Now in flowchart, we have to start the program, then we have to accept A and B. Is A greater than B? If A is greater than B, then we have to display A, otherwise we have to display B as the greatest number. In now, we have to stop the program. In the another program, write a program to find sum of 10 natural numbers. Natural numbers means those numbers starting from 1. In algorithm, step 1, start the program. In step 2, initialize a variable count to 1. In step 3, display the variable count. In step 4, increase the variable count by 1. In step 5, check whether count variable exclude 10. If yes, go to 3. If no, we have to go to step 5. In step 6, we have to stop the program. Now, in its flowchart, we have to start the program. Then we have to count 1. We have to display count. If count less than 10, yes, then we have to stop the program. Likewise, in another program, write a program to find average of any 5 number. In algorithm, step 1, start. In step 2, ask a user to enter 5 number and store as A, B, C, D, and E. In step 3, every is equals to A plus B plus C plus D plus E by divided by 5. This is the formula to, to find every. In step 4, we have to display every. Then in step 5, we have to stop the program. Now, in its flowchart, start the program, read A, B, C, D, and E. In average, we have to put the formula of average, and in, step, in another step, we have to display average, and last, we have to stop the program. In another program, write a program to find simple interest. In algorithm, step 1, start. In step 2, read principal time and rate as PTR. In step 3, simple interest equals to P into T into R by 100. This is a formula to calculate simple interest. In step 4, we have to display simple interest. In step 5, we have to stop the program. Now it's flowchart. We have to start read PTR. In the place of read, we can write accept also. In another step, SI equals to P into T into R by 100. This is a formula of simple interest and we have to display simple interest then we have to stop the program. Like in another question, write a program to find number from 1 to 20. In algorithm, step 1, start. In step 2, read x as 0. In step 3, increase x by 1. In step 4, print x. If x is less than 20, then go back to step 2. Then in step 5, we have to stop the program. Now it's flowchart. We have to start the program and we have to read x is x as 0. Then we have to increase x by 1. Then we have to print x. Now if x is less than 20, then we have to stop the program. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you learned very much from my presentation. I would like to I would like to thank Guru Sir for giving me this such a wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Yeah.